Did you all think the last video was long? <laughs> oh, baby. We're in for a treat. Today, we're not ending until we beat this game. Now, I don't know how long that is, but, um... <laughs> Challenge accepted. Buckle in. Get some snacks. Popcorn. Let's watch a movie. We're jumping right in, baby. Let's go. We're meeting Pulpe. Is Heidi doing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Yes. Why didn't your mouth move? <laughs> High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? <laughs> Which is why we're here. This way. Yeah, straight to these mushrooms. Poppy, wait! Oh my gosh! seen a dog bog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've it didn't even give me the opportunity to save the poor beast. In the, water. in the water? Well, I'll be out there to you now, Poppy. Don't go in there. Don't drink any of that. This is... odd. What in Merlin's name? Are those... Right. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntail Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. Mm. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Jakarta's. I suppose we'll find out. <gasps> Jakarta's. Yo! Uh, uh, we better run. Incendio. Be free, you bloody chicken. This 
way. Yeah, that sounded like Rivendell. <laughs> that music. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. Right. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Let's get out of here. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? Ooh. I shall see you back at the castle. So, uh, you just gonna walk there? Can you not teleport like I can? It's a, it's a long walk there, Papa. You see that? Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few Bruh. questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. All right, I'll, I'll do it. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. All right, come on. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical oh creature was gosh. used in the game of Quidditch? <laughs> um, I'm going to say Snidget, because it's close to Snitch. The Golden Snidget. Correct! Oh my god. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to Oh, as yeah, I got that. Yo, Felix Felicis. The purple rock potion. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical um, artifacts. Oh, what's happened to the audio? <laughs> Uh, that's the Hallows, baby. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Oh, oh gosh. I was thinking... I was thinking... Oh, this waffle. The quaffle. That's right. <laughs> When a chaser throws the quaffle through one Can of the groups in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. Is that a trick question? Species? Uh, it, you transform, but are you... I'm going to say yes, because Hermione transformed into that cat. True. Actually, the answer was false. Are you kidding? While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used oh to change species. Oh my gosh. Species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. Yes, please. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Mm, another time. I I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. Right. Can I have the book? I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Well done. Beautiful. Goodness. 
Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration. Ho fatto vetto. Be weary of hearing me say is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. That dude in the back was <laughs> he was lost. Ferreverto. Wondrous. Beautifully done. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because mm. he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Mm. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. I'm Bragbor in his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. <laughs> Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, hmm. Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. <laughs> For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Hmm. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was mm. meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize <laughs> that as language. Yeah, no, you tripping. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, sir, Lodgok. Thank God. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Oh, that's easy enough. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? Hmm. I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. 
so was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. I'm telling you, it's when the girl. She looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped mm. container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. Oh. How did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think hmm. Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. Mm. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must uh. find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Right, uh, I'm right in front of you. <laughs> I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We do blows, baby. Guns blazing. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. Mm, and I still yes. have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. I said we use closer. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. All right. No let's just jump right in. Kill anyone who tries. Hey, boys. How you doing? And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. We. 
please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Lovely. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Hmm. We're all working together. A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? Mm -hmm. You know, goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. Mm -hmm. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Wow. I thought you were my friend. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Oh, well. Unbelievable. Uh -huh. Hey, you cast Crucio on me. Remember that? You don't hear me complaining. Hello, Professor. I have news. <sighs> the goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. Thank God. It's Hogwarts. Oh. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. Huh. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Oh boy. We gotta go to the principal's office. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood mm. Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it's it. It's Sherbert Lehrman. Master's house elf. <laughs> will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have oh. just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, cool. does a polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? We'll cut off it his does. fingers. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything. That's pretty after shady, Fig. This trip to the ministry on his behalf. Now, time is That's of the us. essence. Drink up, and I shall explain more. Help! Wow, buddy. How do you feel? 
incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Mm. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Scroop! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me He's of He's lost an ear. To my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. Of course. <clears throat> I don't want to be mean. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Mm. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Oh, no. No, I don't. <laughs> um, we're going to go with that. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. Mm. And, of course, as Master knows, uh, in Of French. course. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh. But Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Hmm. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Uh, Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. <coughs> <laughs> the polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. <coughs> Before I throw up. <laughs> There's the sorting heart. I've never been up here in the head mist, uh, mas headmaster's office. Very cool. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. The tale of the three brothers. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Is it the tale of the Deathly Hallows? It's been under the headmaster's nose all this time. <laughs> uh, all right. Hair tonic. Uh-huh. All right. This is a lovely office. I'm going to steal his drink. <laughs> That must be the pedestal. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> My face though, right there. <laughs> Am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Mm. Things are not always as they seem. You must Whoa. move swiftly and In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Uh 
How am I gonna do that? Hmm. It's the Grim Reaper. Death's Shadow. Alright, I feel like this is going to take forever. <laughs> to sneak past all these. Just quickly, quickly, do it. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. That's the way forward. Thank God. Can I be rid of this place? The mysterious... Oh! The invisibility cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Awesome. I got a hello. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. Okay. So they can't see me at all, right? <laughs> Am I correct in that? Evidently. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. The power of the Deathly Hallow. <laughs> this is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? I would maybe hold on to that. Uh... You have outrun death thus far. But have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. The Elder Wand. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Let's go, baby. All powerful. Feels good. Such power. Oh look, I these are my spells right here. Bombard. My powers like never before. Hello. The pulse. The window. This power. Oh, it feels good. I'm unstoppable. None shall stand in my way. Descender! Defender! Deporter! Bombarder! This is the Resurrection Stone. It is.
I cannot die. I think. <laughs> you are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Oh, poor Neve. Gone so young. Oh, my. <laughs> Neve! Why? We won't be the same without her. <laughs> wow. I didn't think we were going there. <laughs> you found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Hmm. Tell me that girl but didn't kill her. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Well, we're going to find out what happened. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, hmm. wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw can... what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. She's twisted, bro. She ain't right. In. Did she just eat that? Can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. There's something wrong this with you, girl. Stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. I was half expecting her to uh, kill her there. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. You are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. That's freaking weird. <laughs> I found it disturbing. But 
How did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Yeah, she just Monstrous. sort of went for it. <laughs> What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. You got him drunk. Classic. Sebastian, wait. Wait? For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I feel like my man's turning. I know you're angry and frustrated. <laughs> but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said... Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. There we go. An honest conversation. I'm, I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. You think? And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this. See right. what happens when you talk it out? In. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Could this be another area Isadora created? Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. We may yet, my friend. <laughs> the final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. 
but I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. <laughs> you just said that. Perhaps what? completing the triptych will shed more <laughs> light on all of this. All right, well, let's go. <sighs> I cannot believe any this triptych took us on. All right, let's see what it makes. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Um, <laughs> the pensive. We're not going to question how that just got there. He's a daughter. Hmm. Look, he ain't right, but <laughs> he ain't right, dog. I cannot bring my brother back, father. But I can give you peace. Is this before she took away the pain? Please, it have is. A seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken mm. since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. Have you done? I took his pain. <sighs> Thank you. That worked. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. <laughs> All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. She's using him. Look how many she has. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. <sighs> she took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, oh, the portrait. Boy. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. 
Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. Oh boy. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? I found one of Randrock's drills in a mine along the shore. I intend to destroy it. I'm tired of trying to reason with him. You're welcome to join me, but if I don't see you there, I will reach out when I return. I have something to give you. Lord God's getting himself into more danger than he realizes. I'd better find him. I hope I can get to Ranlock before Lord God does. Uh oh. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy uh. the drill and stop Randolph's loyalists. <laughs> oh, hello, troll. <laughs> I'll just be getting out of here. You. Oh, are we gonna fight, dog? That is unfortunate. No matter. We will build another. I found this one lurking outside. Lord Gok. Come to make amends, little brother. Brother. <laughs> I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? We are in a bit of trouble, aren't we? It cannot be. All this time, you knew. You knew where it was. Don't! Are you alright? I will never understand you, Lord Gok. So, Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. Looking everywhere for the final repository. Searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! Bruh. No. Above the Dabra! Oh! Bruh. 
Bro, why didn't we even bother to try to help the homie? hand no wonder he tried so hard to reason with him um that went well now to get out of this blasted place agreed I'll send word to fig to meet me in the map chamber he and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this thing's. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why yeah. did he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Hmm. She, she didn't tell him, though. I'm afraid I can't say. I didn't read the journals. I fear you are correct. The situation is far from ideal, but we can wait no longer. I will defer to Professor Rockham as to how to proceed. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Oh, I'm down with that. Let's go. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Confringo! Oh, is that a... It is. I believe I know <laughs> what must be done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a grap horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Uh... Have you ever subdued a grap horn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. What? The Ministry still owes me for that favor. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what Lovely. must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Hello, friend. We've now turned into Monster Hunter. <laughs> Hello. 
Oh. Have that. You know what will work? My cabbages. There you go, have some of that. Go get him. Oh! oh, let's go. See, I told you. The cabbages. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm just eating this. What about a mandrake? Okay, he read my he read my movement. That was super effective. Have another one. I can't see. What in the world was that? Magic! I killed him! Avada Kadama! Uh. I'm a Neil. I'm dead. I need your help, friend. I got like Game of Thrones vibes right there. Hello, beastie. Oh, he's a mount. Has a powerful charge attack, deals a lot of damage. Yo, this music though. Holy. Yeah! Poachers. Let's see how all the shore feels about his name. Kill them all! Where am I going? <laughs> It'll take more than this to stop the Lord. Protect! Crossing that bridge, whether you like it or not. You only get it. Time for you all to clear out. You freed that. <sighs> Yeah. 
this game so epic. Let's go, grapple. Yeah, that music right there, that's the Rivendell stuff. Uh, I seen the inside of your head, Grapon. Was that the trial? Oh. All right, let's go. Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. All right, let's see what it's all about here. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Oh boy. Mr. Morganak, I... Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. Hmm. We must gather the others. Turn to your common room, all right? Something wrong with you. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? You won't suffer any longer. 
Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! Huh. Oh. Wow. She's alive. Wow. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? <laughs> I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. Oh. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. All right. I'd say we're in the end game now. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. <laughs> I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand crafted. That you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. 
Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. Oh, lovely. I need it to save the world. Can you do that? <laughs> Run! It is done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Remarkable craftsmanship. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. <sighs> I don't think he's I'm an enemy. Afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Well, oh, maybe he is. He did try to kill Ranrock. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? What's it to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said children should be seen and not heard. <laughs> oh boy. Well, well, well. Oh boy, what is this? We mash it! You cannot beat me, Rookwood. Oh my goodness. Bro, this is nuts. A lamb to the slaughter. Imperial. Let 
Heavy on I will not be caught! Bring up! Bring up! Bring up! Stand and fight me! This is Beastman. Fight for me! Imperial! You're no match for me! Akio! Benita! Incendio! To your knees! Incendio! Potato! Freaking die! Uh, let's go, boy. Did you just explode? Oh, Victor? Victor, did you explode? You bloody I idiot. I can't believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an Alta Natty right away. For that now, was kind of nuts. I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. That was a lot. <laughs> I died a few times. Oh... Baby, do you see the spell? Do you see it? <laughs> Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. <sighs> I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop! You Truly, swore you wouldn't let Ominous Sebastian isn't going to die. One step further. Yet here we are. It's my fault. I was wrong. I thought he'd stop. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. <sighs> Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. <sighs> I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were Inferi, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating in theory is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the inferior to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. <sighs> be careful. Right. <laughs> oh, hello. Inferi are there? Hey, Isn't brother. This incredible. Uh, I think you've gone too far, brother. Sebastian, I told you, the relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight the Inferi all the way. What 
have the two of you done? Accio Relic! Dude, don't tell me we're gonna do a Vada Kedavra on him. Solomon, don't! The Relic! You'll pay for this! Uh, hello? But two of you have done this one! That credit has been the same for now. Have you ever seen the other? The Finder. Sorry, you didn't bring that. Is he dead? Dude, is he gonna kill him? I won't let her suffer. Wow. What have you done, Sebastian? Now, what have you done, Sebastian? I must get out of here. I can't let him leave. Sebastian, we gotta talk, dog. Sebastian, wait! What is it? Why well, stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us, not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. 
If I hadn't known how to cast it... Oh... Dude... I wanna... <laughs> I wanna know the spell, okay? But you know... Not everyone should wield such power. He did attack us. You had no choice. Bruh, I don't it believe was that. Brave, <laughs> Sebastian. You clearly care more about Anne than your uncle ever did. I knew uh, you'd understand. This is all wrong. I did do the right thing. You I don't did. agree with this right here. I would have done the same. No, if no. You how? <laughs> I no, I would. <laughs> could teach you. I'm going to the dark side. Uh. Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm gonna use it on Rain Rock here in the end. <laughs> no time like the present. The Chilling Curse won't be easy to master. As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. This is... This is, uh... Hold your one steady. Focus. The incantation is... Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. Look, it's the Thunderbolt! Like Harry Potter! Oh no. I can't stay here. <laughs> I need to find Ominous. Sebastian, please. I'm not myself right now. Yeah, that's Let's obvious. Meet later at the Undercroft, all right? I've become what I sought to destroy. I have walked down a dark path, never to return. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivanders with the Keeper's I Wand. I killed him. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you alright? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself. Ooh. The dark side answer. <laughs> Many that die deserve life. Many that live deserve death. Can you give it to them, Frodo? <laughs> he would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. <sighs> the All final right. battle. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. Oh boy. I'm ready. Let's go. Astonishing. That must be the way to the repository. The beginning of the end. 
We can only hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. <sighs> and the goblins. What the fun is it? Let's go. Fig, you better not die, brother. You're with if me till the end. Here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. Search the area. Must be here somewhere. We must be getting closer. Renrock, we'll be pleased with our progress. No! Expelliarmus. No! Let's not quiet. All right, <laughs> it's time to use Avada Kedavra. <laughs> oh, it's on cooldown. <laughs> uh, Imperio. Oh, that's the wrong enemy. We need a dragon. All the teachers, they're coming in. Oh. Let's go, boys. The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. No one die. This is so epic. We're in the thick of it now. We'll show you the institute in charge. Avada Kedavra! Stop him! With pleasure! Now, Professor, should you can leave some for the rest of us? Can be happy to use the best shot. Get away with this! Lazy! Stop like The rest of the momentum. Not quite. Places. Expulsion. 
Who is it? Oh. It's the bridge of Casa Doom. <sighs> Dude, Fig better not die. I no. Oh, I'm gonna do a Vada Kedavra on the. <laughs> I'm just straight cheating right now, dude. Let's go, baby. Before Ranrock. I don't think we did. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? It must stay here. I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking... What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others <laughs> sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers mm. wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? Until the end. The Keepers were right. The risk of using this magic is too dangerous. It is my responsibility alone to keep it safe. I understand, but you are not entirely alone. I will do all I can to help you. Don't die, man. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Hmm. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <laughs> Seems you were too Give up
No, dude. Okay. Red! You can't one shot him. I did that by mistake. I don't want to use it on him.
Where do I go, dude? Where do I go? Hello? Oh, uh, the stage is set. You can't run forever, Adrock. Give up now. My I'm running out of healing, dude. Good for you. He's so close, dude! I have no healing.
My boy. Professor. <laughs> that yell was no dude Professor uh, Miriam Come on. <clears throat> professor Eleazar Fish. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. <clears throat> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! Yo, I'm a little emotional. A little bit. Wow.
You've completed the Hogwarts Legacy story and reached the end of our school year. With your OWL exams fast approaching, now is a good time to reveal your fu- review your field guide, explore the world, finish any remaining relationship storyline and side quest, and complete your field guide as you see fit. We've beat the game. There's only one spot fitting enough for the end of the video. All right. With that, our magical journey comes to an end. Boy, this was a long one, huh? Uh, Longer than a movie, probably, by the time this is all done and edited. This game's got to be my game of the year for me personally. I don't know what else we'll release, but as a Harry Potter fan, this game was it, and I loved it. So I thank you for joining, watching, watching the adventure of Sirius Tobins. What a game. Beautiful. With that, I bid you adieu. Thank you for watching and sharing this journey with me. Thank you. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then. <laughs>